It looks great. I want to see how breathable it is. I don't know if you can even see the little half tones it has. Definitely did really, really well on this shirt. What's up superstars? In today's video, we're gonna be showing you guys a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to make this dog parody movie poster and also printing it out for DTF and slapping it on a shirt. All right, let's get started. Place the image on Adobe Photoshop. Scale the image by pressing Control T. Drag the corners while holding Shift. Go to select, then subject. Click mask icon at the bottom right. This will create a mask and remove the background. Place another image and resize it. Go back to the first image and select its mask. Choose brush tool by pressing B on your keyboard. Use a soft round brush by right clicking on your mouse and make it large by pressing right bracket on your keyboard. Brush on the bottom of the image to make that part transparent. Place another image on top of it and resize it. Use a pen tool and trace the part you want. Once done, click Control Enter on your keyboard to create a marquee. This will select the part you want. Create a mask by clicking the mask icon at the bottom right to remove the background. Click the mask and use soft brush to create a fade effect. Brush on the part you want to fade. Place a smoke image and scale it. Set it to screen. Create a new layer on top of it and create a clipping mask. Choose a color that will match with the background. Set the blending mode to color. Add adjustments if needed. Go to adjustments and select saturation. Adjust the sliders to your liking. Then create a clipping mask by pressing Control alt g on your keyboard. You can adjust the feather of the mask to soften the edges. Click on the mask, go to properties and adjust the feather slider to the right. Reposition some images if needed. Add another image and place it on top of the layers. This will be our foreground image. Place it anywhere you like. Scale the image by pressing Ctrl T. Adjust it to your liking. Go to select, then subject. You can use lasso tool to add parts that was not selected. Press L on your keyboard to use the lasso tool. Draw the parts you want to be included. Once satisfied, click mask icon at the bottom right. Add adjustments if needed. Go to adjustments and select curves. Adjust it to your liking, then create a clipping mask. Create adjustments to all the images until you are satisfied. You can adjust the curves, saturation, and levels. You can also add additional image if you want. Paste the image to the artboard and go to select, then subject. Click on quick selection tool from the toolbar and brush the parts that was not included by the marquee selection. Create a mask and adjust its feather. You can flip the image horizontally by going to edit Transform, then flip horizontal, position the image wherever you want. Add adjustments if needed. Go to adjustments and select curves. Adjust it to your liking, then create a clipping mask. Group the layers into two parts. Let's rename the folders. Open a new artboard and use text tool to type. Type the title you want and choose font that matches your concept. I'll use Jurassic Park font for this one. 
press Ctrl T from your keyboard to resize the text. Make it large. Add strokes by going to Layer Style. To do this, double click on the text layer and it will open the layer style. Go to Stroke, change the color to black and adjust its thickness. Make sure the position is set to outside. Hit OK. Change font color by clicking on the color from the Properties tab. I chose white for this. Duplicate the text layer by dragging it down to create new layer at the bottom right. Or just simply press Ctrl J on your keyboard while the duplicated layer is selected. Hold Ctrl and Alt while pressing down key multiple times. Select all the duplicated layers and press Ctrl G on your keyboard to group them. Open the folder and drag the effects from one of the text layers and drop it on the folder. This will copy the layer effect. Double click on the group layer and go to stroke, set the position to inside. Go to color overlay, choose the color you want. I'll choose red, hit OK. Select all the layers and right click then convert to Smart Object. Right click again and select Duplicate Layer. Choose the document where the artwork is located. Hit OK. Go back to the artwork document. Hit Ctrl T to scale the title image and align it to center. Open Background Folder and drag the title layer underneath one of the background image layers. This will place the title behind the image Let's add texture to the title image. Place any grunge image or concrete image to the artboard and place it on top of the title image layer. Scale and position it to hide the title image. Create a clipping mask. Set blending mode to multiply. Press Ctrl M to add a curve. Adjust the curve to make it lighter by dragging the center of the curve to top left. Hit OK. Place a black brush stroke image with white background to the artboard. This will be used for the background to make it large. Choose Quick Selection Tool and brush on the black part of the image. Then go to Select, then Similar. This will select the black from the image. Hit Ctrl J to duplicate the image. Delete the original brush stroke image. Duplicate the brush stroke multiple times. Scale, rotate, and position them randomly till we create a big brush stroke that will cover almost all of background. Once satisfied, select all the duplicated brush stroke layers and merge them. Right click and merge layers or simply press Ctrl E. Drag the brush stroke layer to the bottom. Group the background image layers by parts and rename the group layers. Hold Ctrl and click on the brush stroke layer, then click on the mask icon at the bottom right. Do this to all background grouped layers except for the title layer. Now, we will create a black knockout. Click on the new fill button at the bottom right, choose solid color, choose black, hit OK. Select all the layers and right click. Choose duplicate layers and create a new document by selecting new. Hit OK. Go to Image Mode, then Grayscale. Click Merge. Just click Discard. Go to Image Adjustments, then Levels. Here's the guide on adjusting blacks and whites for color halftones. Feel free to adjust the sliders until the white parts get whiter. The black parts will be transparent. Hit OK. Go to Image, Mode, then Bitmap. Make sure the output is set to 300 and method is set to halftone screen. Hit OK. These are my settings. Frequency is set to 35, angle is set to 22, and shape is set to round. Hit OK. Press Ctrl A on your keyboard, then press Ctrl C to copy. Select the foreground and background group layers and group them together by pressing Ctrl G. Let's rename the folder to Artwork. Create a mask by clicking the mask icon. 
Hold Alt and click on the mask. Press Ctrl V to paste the image we copied. Click on the eye icon to show the artwork. Add curves if needed. Go to Adjustments, select Curves. Adjust the curves till the artwork is brighter. Once satisfied, create a clipping mask. Test the background color to check if it's good on other colors. And we're done. Hey superstars, I'm excited to share some fantastic updates from our website that will actually transform how you order and design your prints. We've always focused on efficiency and ease and to continue that tradition, we're introducing a brand new auto build tool on our GangSheet Builder site. This tool is a game changer from our creative customers who want control over the designs, really quick inputs for their easy arrangement. With this new feature, you can customize your gang sheets exactly the way you want it, as quickly as you like. Now, since you guys saw the step-by-step -step tutorial, let's take a look at the prints. They did really well on this graphic. I don't know if you could tell, but there's a lot of half tones in here. I know you were able to tell in the video, but our graphic designers did such a great job, honestly. Like, look at how how thin it is. You can see basically right through it. This is gonna come out really, really well. So I'm excited. All right, let's get started. For today's blank, we're gonna be using a large black Bella canvas 3001 is the model number. If you guys wanna check it out, we'll have a link in the description below. For our heat press, we're gonna be using our Heatmaster Prisma. It's been a fan favorite for all our videos, so why stop now? It has a 16 by 20 layout and 10 inch pullout, and you can thread the shirts, making it easy access for that pressing. All right, let's get started. making sure the neckline is past the center. Then we are also gonna turn on our lasers. We're gonna wanna make sure this is properly aligned, so this is gonna help us. If you guys are interested in this laser guiding system, we'll put a link in the description below for you guys. And just in case if you guys don't have a laser system to help you to as well, you guys could easily use your fingers and you're really going towards the highest point. So that's why I put it right here. looks great I want to see how breathable it is wow it came out really well I don't know if you can tell all the black right here is completely no graphic and I don't know if you can even see the little half tones it has it definitely did really well on this shirt I like it all right they did great there you guys have it. We showed you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to make this dog parody movie poster and then bring it to life using DTF and then slapping it on a shirt. Now we got a breathable, wearable, sellable shirt. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. And if you guys are looking for a DTF supplier or just trying to replace your existing one, definitely give us a shot. That's it for me for now. If you guys saw value in this video, please leave a like and subscribe and leave a comment if you wanna see more videos like this.